So I want to talk to you about this vlog for Budapest. It's going to be a little different. I want my vlogs not just to show highlights of a city because you can kind of see that anywhere. If you just want highlights, like just go to the Travel Channel or Nat Geo or something like that. This will be more, more personal so we can get to know each other a little better. Since I last checked in properly, which was Lisbon, um, I've actually lost 12 pounds, which is pretty exciting. Uh, it's nice. It's nice to have a jawline again. <laughs> that went away for a little while, unfortunately. So for this trip, I don't want to undo all that work I just did. So my real goal is to stick to eating healthy and not indulging too much and just not undo all my work. So I'm going to share it all with you and share how how I plan to achieve that and hopefully if you guys have any tips just share them in the comments because maybe I'll use them next time. Now I should say if you save up and travel like once or twice a year just disregard everything I'm going to say in this video because you deserve to indulge, you deserve to enjoy yourself. For me I have the body type that like if I look at a cheeseburger my butt will be jiggling for like the next week. I can't just eat whatever I want and uh not gain weight or not change in some way. I actually noticed that's gotten worse. Over the age of 25, everything changes. <laughs> I used to be able to eat whatever, but it changes. Actually, just quickly, before we get to it, I should mention uh, what I've been doing. In December, I gave up sugar completely. Cold turkey just one day said, I'm not eating refined sugar anymore. Well, this is like a special occasion or something. I was so addicted. If there was sugar in the house, I would be thinking about it. I would eat it even if I wasn't hungry. It had like such a strong force over me and it had completely changed my body in such a short time just from me leaning on it so much and me just turning towards it for every type of comfort when I was lonely or anything like that. So I just said no, no more. That's originally how this started. My goal was really just to break that addiction with sugar and it was probably like the worst two weeks of my life because the withdrawals were so intense uh, but then it naturally sort of fell into a different way of eating because we had a friend visit and it was our first friend visitor ever which was really exciting to have someone come and stay with us and he was talking about how he did the ketogenic diet and like how that worked for him and it intrigued me a lot and it gave me the courage to give it a go I'd heard of it but I was a little skeptical just him telling us about like how it worked for him and like what he was doing gave me a lot of inspiration to give it a go and I did and I just wish I had done it sooner. I gotta tell you like my energy is just it's just stable all day. I don't have the ups and downs anymore. I just have like real stable energy all the time which is the best part about it and if you don't know anything about the ketogenic diet just go look it up if it's not for you that's okay too but you could adopt like whatever tips we go through in this video and like whatever people share in the comments just adopt it for the way you eat and the way you live and the way whatever works for your body like just do that and um, hopefully we can all maybe be a little healthier with some of the tips so I stopped at Aldi, there's one right near this hotel, um, and I got a bunch of snacks to help get me through. I got a couple of packets of salami. Um, I got these, I actually brought these from home and that's what I had on the plane. I got a block of cheese, some like salami that didn't need to be refrigerated so I can take that out with me and just <laughs> munch on it. Uh, these are nuts I brought from home. I brought a packet of macadamias, and then these are actually, let's see if you can see them, um, pecans with butter and cinnamon and then put in the oven. I got mascarpone and cheese. I unfortunately got given this fruit bowl by the hotel but I can't eat it so I feel really bad about that. Uh, lemon juice just to put in my water for potassium and then sodium. I got a giant jar of pickles. Um, I wish they sold smaller ones because I'm probably going to have to leave half of it but I mean it just you got to get what you got to get and then two giant bottles of water so that I can keep hydrated. Okay so day one in Budapest. Um, I have breakfast included with my room. It's a great way to save money having that included because I can use that as my biggest meal for the day and then kind of have smaller snackish type things for the rest so that's good but they always have the best food and not the healthiest at breakfast uh, which is a real temptation uh, so what i did was i didn't even look at the sweet section i just stuck to the other side and i just got some eggs some uh, meat a little bit of cheese a little bit of butter for healthy fats and a little bit of salmon that was a, the first challenge in budapest success <music>
Budapest. Um, it's actually pronounced Budapest, but it's so unnatural that it's hard for me to, to get that going. Anyway, I thought I'd do a quick recap on how we went on day one. Uh, so I mentioned I had breakfast at the hotel. That was great. It kept me fueled for you know, into the afternoon. And once it was afternoon, I had a little bit of cheese and salami here at the hotel. And then I went for a night cruise. So before I went for the night cruise, I had a handful of nuts that I brought from home and a little bit of the mascarpone cheese. So that's all I had. It kept me going. I felt really good. Everything's going well so far until uh, on the night cruise, a couple of the guys, I think they felt sorry for me since I was there by myself. Uh, everyone always thinks it's a lonely thing, um, which is a very kind feature of people to, you know, not want to see people by themselves and they brought me over a shot of Bailey's and uh, it was very good it was very good <laughs> so for today I have a couple of sites planned that I'd like to see I've already had breakfast at the hotel hopefully it'll be another good day of uh, trying to stay healthy while traveling so let's share some of the sites <music> just finished up at the invisible exhibition in Budapest here and I think everyone has to do it you're not allowed to take any phones or cameras or anything through so I don't have any footage to show you but basically you are rendered blind and <laughs> you can't see anything you walk through the pitch black a vision impaired person who guides you through and talks to you all about what's in the room you have to figure it out for yourself as well it's so interesting I've never been more grateful to be able to see uh, than right now but I think everyone should do it it's so fascinating tips is just walk as much as you can take the stairs as much as you can be as active as possible uh, so yesterday I walked all around town and when I checked my app last night I walked 16 kilometers so it might not feel like much when you're just walking a lot of little trips uh, but it all adds up <laughs> Budapest. Finally pronouncing it right. So what do I need to recap from today? So we went to the thermal beers bar. It's really cool. You sit in a wooden tub. They fill it with thermal water, which is the same water that's out in all the pools. And then they add uh, yeast, hops, beer salt, and malt to the bath. And it makes your skin it's really, really soft and nice. And you just get to sit there and relax. There's unlimited beer. You have a tap right next to you. And you can just pour your own unlimited beer from the tap. Uh, I didn't drink any because I don't really drink beer. But you just get to relax in this uh, beer spa for 45 minutes. It's really cool. In your ticket, you also get a day ticket to the whole uh, pool complex. So you can use all the pools. I went outside and um, used the outdoor one, which was really cool, really fun. Because uh, it's so cold outside, but you just sit in the nice warm water. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a little crowded, but it was really good. Uh, I just walked around the city for a little bit and then went to the cat cafe. It's just like like in many other cities. You can just go in, buy a coffee, and then there's cats all around that you can play with. So, I mean, I think I was uh, being the crazy cat lady. Maybe they're a little too long, but it was really fun and, and really cool to just be able to pet cats. I went to a local market too. I'll put all these links in my blog post just so you have all the info. I've just been to the gym at the hotel, done a little workout, just a little bit of lifting and uh, sauna so that was really good. Uh, feeling a bit refreshed and uh, ready to ready to go home and I think I did pretty well as far as like not destroying my uh, eating habits or anything um, but I'm ready to go back and just have my like normal routine and be able to make my own food and things like that. Budapest is really nice, really cheap. Uh, I loved visiting, had a great time. 
10 out of 10 recommend it for anyone trying to plan a holiday. And if you like this video, uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.